Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I'm back here to talk to you about the brand new 2 gig Edge keypad. This is not the actual panel, but this is the keypad itself that uh, you would use as, a, as an extra you know, uh, touchscreen device, not the main panel itself. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you how to wire this 2 gig Edge keypad. Um, it's super easy to do. Uh, as you can see, this thing is almost identical to the actual 2 gig Edge itself. So uh, you'll notice immediately that there is a screw at the very bottom of this, just like on the 2 gig Edge itself. I've already gone ahead and backed that screw out. You will need a, uh, either a Phillips head or a very small flat head to do this. But once you've done that and that screw is backed out, it doesn't come out all the way. It only comes out a little bit, as you can see here. And then you're going to go ahead and pop the back plate off, which is very easy to do. You can see there, it comes off super easy. So we'll do it one more time here. Just get your fingers in there and pop it out. So immediately when we open this up, you will see the connections for the battery here, which is going to be running to there, and the wiring for the power supply. You will need a strip of 18, 20, or 22 gauge two conductor wire. Uh, this is to get the power supply wired in. Um, what I have done is I've already pre-wired this, so we already have our connections made here for the power supply itself. So you'll see the red connection, which I've run to the positive side. This is a, uh, a DC power supply, so polarity does matter. So I have red to positive and black to negative. So red plus black minus, and it is labeled on the actual power supply itself. Now. I'll put this over to the side. We're going to take the other end of the wire, which as you can see, I've already stripped it back, which you need to do on the other side as well before putting them under the screws and tightening it down. But uh, now we have our other two ends here, and we're going to go ahead and feed it through the back plate so that way we can get it mounted back to the actual device itself. And we are going to take the red wire. The red wire is going to go on the top terminal. Get that in there, and then you're going to go ahead and tighten it until it's locked in place, like so. Then you're gonna take the black wire, and the black wire is gonna go right next to it, and you're gonna tighten that down as well. So looking at it from this angle here, you're gonna see red goes to 12V, which is the top terminal here, red to 12V, and black to G and D which is right below it. At that point, this thing's ready for power. So you're gonna get your battery plugged in. Okay, and then you're gonna get your back plate put back in place. And press down, gotta be a little firm with it to get it done. At this point, you would also go ahead and put your screw in place. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the power here. And it looks like we are getting some power here for the two gig. So as you can see, the, the wire I fed out the back here, so it's got a good solid connection. The battery's plugged in. You would go ahead and screw this screw back in place to lock the back plate in, so that way it wouldn't go away. And at this point, you can see we do have power to this device and it's ready to rock. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.